In this video, I'm gonna show you the Zotero integrations you need to know about to make your research journey easier. So to get started, probably the most used Zotero integration is going to be to cite. And there are two main ways that you can use Zotero to cite. The first one is in a Word document. And so whenever you're in your Word document, you have a Zotero tab if you have it installed and you have the plugin to Word installed, you can have your Zotero tab right there and you can add in any citation by simply searching a keyword and then clicking on it to add it in and then pressing enter and it adds that citation in there. And these are all dynamic citations. So then all you have to do is add in your bibliography and it's going to include it there. If you end up writing more and then you realize, I really want to move that into a different place, I'm gonna move it up here. All I have to do is click this refresh and it will automatically change the references to be in the right order. So this is probably one of the most common ways you would use Zotero is within Word. If you don't have Word, the second integration that you can use it with is within Google Docs. So if you're writing something within Google Docs, you do have your Zotero tab up here. You can add an edit citation. It is going to add the exact same type of box and I can go ahead and add my citation in there and it works the same way it does in Word as it adds in there. And then you can edit it and update it. All I have to do is add in the bibliography and it adds in my bibliography there as well. So I would choose whichever word editor that you like using the most, and then make sure that you have that extension added in so that you are able to cite with your Zotero library. If you're trying to get started in your field and you're trying to figure out what papers to read and how you want to start your first research project, I highly recommend downloading my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's a completely free PDF that walks you step by step how to get up and running in in a new field or in a new research project. So Tarot integrations become a lot more interesting when you look at what you can do within Zotero and how to get different references into Zotero. The next Zotero integrations that's really helpful is ResearchRabbit, and it's helpful in being able to get references really easily into Zotero. So if you want to use what's in Zotero, you can import a Zotero collection. If you have any collection, all you have to do is integrate your account with Zotero, and then you can click this resync with Zotero down here. It is going to resync everything you have in your research rabbit collection with your Zotero collection. So if we look at my Zotero collection, it just added all of these into here. And that is a way to be able to populate your Zotero collections without having to manually add them all in one by one. You can really quickly sync it over. And then if you already have a Zotero collection, you can click import Zotero collection and go ahead and start creating a research rabbit collection based off of that Zotero collection there. Once you have references within Zotero, there are a lot of different softwares that can help you use those references without having to manually import them in over and over again. So for example, we're gonna go through two integrations that will allow you to organize or take notes on your references within Zotero. The first one is LogSeq. LogSeq is a desktop software, so it's something that you download to your own computer, and you can take notes within it, you can create flashcards, whiteboards, all these different things, and you can even look at everything in a graph view. But it also has a Zotero plugin that will allow you to pull references directly from Zotero and include it within your LogSeq account. So in my LogSeq journal, I can now hit forward slash and type in Zotero, and then I can click it when it pops up. And then all I have to do is put in a keyword in my title, my authors or anything. So I'm gonna search for my own last name and it will search the different articles that or references that I have within my Zotero account. So I can just add in the one that I want and now it puts it in here as a reference and then I can write any of my notes underneath it. And the benefit of this is now this is clickable and when I click on it, I get all of that information that came from the Zotero account within my LogSeq account. Another integration that is helpful for organizing your references or taking notes on your references that are in Zotero is Notion. And Notion actually has an integration with Zotero using Notero. 
And I will leave a link below if you're interested in getting started with Nodera. But I am in my literature organization dashboard here. If you're interested in this template, I will also have that link below. And this is actually synced with my Zotero. So if I come into my Zotero, you can see in my tools, there's Notero preferences. And in here, I can enable any of these to sync just by double clicking that and clicking OK. And then what's going to happen is all I have to do is update them. This one is not in my database, so all I have to do is add in a tag. I'm just gonna add in that tag there. And you can see that it pops up here saying syncing items to Notion, and that is automatically syncing those items within my database. So now if I search for that one in my database, you can see it's under this tag because that's the tag I just added and the year here. And then I can always go to my actual table view of my database and look that it just was added in here and all of its information from Zotero was added in as well. Another integration, if you're interested in organizing all of your different articles and information from a lot of different sources, is SciToolHub. And this is my own website. And one of the things you can do is you can add references in from a Zotero collection. And once you've added in your Zotero API information, you can choose to import in the notes and tags and select a collection to import in and import your collections in. And then you're going to get all of that information added in to your account. And that way you can make notes on it, you can organize it with tags or collections, and then you can include that information in notepads and other things. So if you have a lot of notes in your Zotero account and you wanna organize them better, you can then organize them using the notepad setting within SciToolHub or combine them with other information you get from things like Elicit or Consensus or SciSpace. The final two integrations are ways that you can use AI on your PDFs from Zotero. So the first one is SciSpace. If you go to SciSpace and go to your library, you can import from your Zotero using this button here. And then all you have to do is select the collection that you wanna import in. So I'm gonna import in a few different collections here and it's good to know that it's only going to import in the PDF files and papers from your library, not all of your references. So if I click import, you can see that these are all the PDFs it just imported in from my Zotero account. And it's going to fill in all the columns that you have for that given library in there as well. So it's generating this information from these columns using the PDFs and papers that are available there. So if you already have a bunch of PDFs, you don't have to go in and manually up them, upload them into SciSpace. You can import them directly from your Zotero account and you can also use Copilot on these PDFs as well. If you see, I can ask a question on this paper and then I can ask specific questions and it's going to give me information from this specific PDF that came from my Zotero. The final integration that you can also use AI on the PDFs from your Zotero account is Elicit. So if you have Elicit, you can go to this sidebar and if you click on your account settings, it, there is an integrations where you can add in Zotero as an integration. Once you've done that, you can go to your library and you can import from Zotero, and this is the same as SciSpace. It's going to import the PDFs that are in Zotero, not all of your references in. So I just imported in my steroids and IM ability, and it has one PDF that it was able to upload that you can see here. If I wanted to use AI to extract data from this PDF, I could go to Home, Extract Data, and then you can see that it, that paper appears here. And all I have to do is click on it. And once I'm here, I can add in different columns to get information from this paper that the PDF came directly from Zotero. So if you're interested in any of these, I will leave links to all of these different softwares down below. And I will also leave links to the tutorials I've made about setting up the Zotero connection and everything you can do with it where available down below in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.